Yo, what's up? So today, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a fireball. Uh, this video is just going to be part one. It's going to be about like the effects, particles, all that. So let's get started. First, I'm going to make the actual fireball. So I'm going to grab myself just a little block. I'm going to make it one one, one And you're going to want to turn off can collide, turn on anchored. Very nice. Um, another thing that you're going to want to do is change up the, um, the can query. So what that basically does is like tells it if it can get hit by like a ray. And just for the future when we start coding, this actually be pretty helpful. So yeah, you're going to want to turn off can query. And can touch as well, you don't even need those. Only thing you want is anchored. I'm gonna move the part a little bit up so like you can see the bottom of it too. And I'm gonna turn the transparency to one. Once I've done that, I can rename this. So rename this fireball. Next I'm gonna make like the actual fireball effect. So I'm gonna use particle emitter inside of an attachment. So I can, I'm gonna turn off the light influence on it and turn the light emission up. Next, I'm going to change the size. I want it to start small and end small, but it's gonna increase slightly in the middle, like in the beginning, actually. All right, that looks good enough to me. The emission is what I'm gonna do next. So I want it to either emit very, uh, not emission, uh, the lifetime. The lifetime is either going to be very short or it's going to be long. So I'll do 0 0.2 and 0 0.6. So that way some of them you see it last longer right there. And a lot of them just disappear almost instantly. Now their mission rate, I'm going to set that to 1,000. Rotation, just anything, I guess. Rotation speed, same, could be fast, slow, whatever. Speed, now I'm going to make some of them, some of them are going to be slower than others, some of them are going to be really fast, so there you go. And then the spread angle, I'm going to do... It's like random. There, so it's looking kind of like fire, but right now it's just sparkly. It looks like a sparkle thingy. And um, the way we can fix that is obviously with the texture. So let me grab that texture. The texture is yep, 721-685-1605. Okay. Next, once we get that, we can change the um, color. So color of the fireball uh, technically can be anything you want but what I'm gonna do is probably gonna start off like or yellow or orange this color looks good to me then around here maybe around here I want to hit like this red color And then at the very end, go with just like red or something. Maybe this one could be a little bit more orange. Yeah. All right, so that's the fireball. Does it look like a fireball? I think it does. Okay. And so I'm going to name this attachment, just like abbreviated for future scripting, to attach. And then this particle emitter, I'm just going to call it fire. I'm going to actually duplicate this. Um, I'm going to disable the fire. And in the duplicate, I'm going to name it explosion. So 
this is going to be the explosion. Like once the fireball hits, it's going to explode, right? Um, so yeah, it's going to be almost the same thing. But for the explosion, we're going to want the size to be a lot bigger. So honestly, I'm just going to drag this all the way up, maybe up here. Then I'll change the envelope to, and I don't want it to stay that big for too long. So I'm actually bring this down. All right, that looks good to me. I'm going to change a few uh, settings here, just like the lifetime. The lifetime is a little bit short, so I'm going to set it to one or two. That way it stays longer. The rate, uh, I'm going to make this even higher, but I don't think it'll do much here. Speed, I'm going to set that to 40. So that way it looks like a super massive explosion, right? And now it's kind of big right now, and it looks like it's just like emitting like wind or something. So we're gonna actually turn up the drag so it kind of stays in that ball shape. And then to simulate like how it would look, you can just double tap this. So yeah, that's how the explosion is gonna look. Um, you can mess with uh, the color if you want a different colored explosion. Uh, I'm not sure why you would want that, but. Who knows, maybe you do. Alright, so I'm going to leave that there. Next, I'm going to add another attachment. This one's going to be slightly different than the other attachment. It's going to be rotated 90 degrees, so it can create a certain effect. Uh, and I'm going to call this one ring attach, because it's going to be attaching like this ring shaped particle emitter. So right now it's just pointing in that direction. And we're gonna paste that texture here again. And um, you know what? You can just copy the fire effect from this here and then enable it. So this is going to be a little bit different, so I'm going to actually change the, um, the uh, what do you call it, the way this thing emits. So we're going to change the, the emission. So I'm going to set this to like a fixated lifetime, and then rate can stay the same, so can this. Speed, I'm going to set this to like a hard 20. And for the spread angle, it's going to be this. So as you can see, it's like a disc right now. And we're going to want to um, set the drag a little bit so it can stay at the edge a little bit. There you go. Um, and now when it comes to the transparency, we want it to start off actually transparent and then slowly make its way up. So you can just do that. This is a little bit too linear though. So I'm just going to do this maybe. Make it looks, look less linear. So I'm going to play this. Yeah. Uh, what you can also do is um, change the emission direction to front, and it'll be vertical like that. So, yeah. When we play this, it's going to look kind of like a ring, as you can see. Like, see how there's like a ring of fire? Alright, so I'm going to name this one just Ring, and that's going to be the Fireball. Let's go. Now, to set up the effects, I'm going to put them in, all in like a folder somewhere. 
So I call this folder attacks. So I'm going to be doing a fireball attack. And then in that, I'm going to put a folder called fire. And in that, I'm going to add a folder for its effects. And I'm going to put the fireball in here. Now, the next uh, effect that, or part of the effects that I'm going to make is going to be the charge up animation effect. And I'm going to be using a mesh for that. So you can scale this or here or anywhere, but it doesn't really matter right now. I'm just going to leave it as that. So the mesh ID for this is, let me go get it. Here it is. You grab that. It is 345-455-4153. And it's just like a circle, like a ring, some wind. And so, yeah, there are a few things I'm going to be doing with this. Um, I'm going to make it like very transparent and I'm going to change the material to neon. Yep. Um, ah, speaking of other effects, uh, go to the fireball. Remember how we made it can collide off, can query off, can touch off. You have to do the same for this. But we want this one to be anchored as well. And I'm going to change the size of this too. And I personally like to use the size uh, um, size property here. And it's going to be 10.5 and then 10. There we go. So it's very flat. I'm going to name it just Let's name it circle because it's like a circle. You can see, right? And uh, besides that, I don't think there's much we need. Okay, you can turn on double sided if you want it to look a little bit like three dimensional. It's up to you. And then I'm gonna put the circle in effects as well. So those are gonna be all the solid VFX. Um, I'm also going to be going over the animation, so I can't really share with you guys an animation, so I'm just going to show you the animation I made for this, and you can use a block build block rig thing to make like a rig. And then um, use the animation editor to make your animation. I'll just show you what my animation looks like. Um, so this is some, somewhat of what it looks like. So in the beginning we have like the idle pose, right? And then it's going to pull back into like a charge. This is where he's charging up the fireball. And then once he's done charging around here, he's going to shoot it out like that. So yeah. Um, I would prefer you guys to like have like a charge animation because this tutorial is going to have a charge charge up fireball. Well, it's not really a charge up fireball. It just has a little bit of wind up. And then you shoot it out. Make sure when you do this, uh, set the animation priority to action. Um, so yeah, once you um, finish your animation, you can export it like like so, um, I think it's published to Roblox, and then let's say you publish it, grab that animation ID, oh, my bad, well, at least I grabbed the animation ID. Grab the animation ID and store it in a folder in Fire called the Animation. And I'm just gonna name the animation Firewall. All right. And yeah, so that's about it for the the setting up of the fireball, like all the effects and animations, 
I'll be going over the actual scripting in the next video. Alright, thanks for watching.